All right, what's up, y'all? So, um, Anime Vanguards just um, what you call it? Finished their first tournament, right? Uh, I <laughs> I may or may not have like not placed. Um, it's because it's because the people in my bracket, like everybody, had like Monarch Gojo. I mean, not Monarch Gojo. Monarch um, Song Jun Woo, Monarch Igris, and all that, right? So I didn't really get to place on that tournament, right? But this new tournament. Oh wait, no, wrong button right here. Would you look at that? Okay, ignore, uh, <laughs> ignore this. You, you guys, look, this is my competition. Okay, so ignore this. This isn't fair. Okay, so just ignore this. But I was, I did manage to get to 2,300 kills, right? Now this is in the traded version. I could in the future make a trade disabled version, and I could, I think I could push like 2. Point something k kills if I, if I really think right, because this 2.3, 2.3k kill run was like my second try right like i'm sure i can push up to like 2.4k especially if i can get a better trade on my gojo i could definitely push like 2.4k kills and beat that guy which has like a full monarch team right um now some things before the, before i start this video right this isn't really a strategy that i would say is very replicable is, is that the word you would say like not everyone is going to have a Monarch Alucard and a Monarch Choso, okay? So, like, you know, it's not the most replicable, but you guys can take some ideas from this run um, and implement it in your own runs, I guess. I guess, I guess, that, that, that's what you could do with this video. Um, but this is just going to be me showing how I got to 2.3k kills. Now, I won't, no promises that I'll be able to get 2.3k kills again, because, like, that that's a pretty, it's a pretty tight margin, like, even a little slip up could result in you losing like 20 kills so pretty tight margins but i'll try my best obviously i'm gonna try my best um another thing to keep in mind is things that could help you improve your run right if you have a monarch tengen uh, actually let me do this real quick let me show you guys a team first okay um so the team that i used was monarch alucard uh monarch choso Blitz Julius. I think Blitz is probably the best you could have for him. Eth Ethereal could be a good option, but I think Blitz is better for this. Okay, Monarch could be also good, but I think Blitz or Ethereal is better than Monarch for this. So I'm using Blitz. Um, but maybe that's just that might just be me coping because I don't have <laughs> a good trade on him. Um, okay, and then I used Gojo, and then I used both the farms. That, is that simple is that simple of a team uh where's my other farm right there is that simple of a team nothing too crazy nothing too complicated okay now well i mean i guess it is kind of complicated because not that many people are gonna have these but regardless i've already said that once regardless right that's a team right now listen if you have monarch gojo boom you can easily get 2.4k kills if you have monarch tengen you replace gojo with that easy 2.4k kills maybe even 2.5k um that's pretty much it the 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 only like i guess dull point that i have in my team is this gojo right here this gojo could easily be replaced with something much better if i had something better um but yeah I've, I've been yapping way too much this is gonna be like a 25 minute video um so yeah i'm just gonna get straight into it you guys can obviously uh skip through the video if you guys need to see certain parts of the you know strategy i guess like you know you guys get what i mean um, okay, so first thing what we're gonna do, boom, we're gonna place, boom, farm, just like that. And the first unit we're gonna place is Alucard. Now, what I like to do with my Alucard is I like to place him, like, kind of, like, here, because I don't want him to hit the Mahito over here. Mahito has a spawner here. I don't want him to hit that Mahito spawn. So I'll place him, like, like over here, like, somewhere, like, here, around here. Um, and I'll explain why I don't want to kill Mahito right away uh, later. I'm, I'm gonna explain that in a second. Let me just wait for 2,000 cash and then also the reason I'm, the reason monarch alucard and monarch choso work really well together is because they just have really good synergy together because when monarch choso is attacking um when monarch choso attacks a unit that's already bleeding or an enemy that's already bleeding he get he gets five percent more damage right and then also if choso makes a unit bleed it procs um this ability right here it procs um, the wounded ability. Also, I'm already falling behind. I, have to, I forgot I have to place these. Okay, I'm already falling behind, but you guys get the idea. Af after you place your Alucard, you place these dudes. Um, and now we wait. And now, place him. 
and then we upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. Boom. Let me have let me have the unit unit thing open so you guys can see. So so far, place out card, upgraded these, and then place Julius. Okay, and I think from now we're honestly just gonna upgrade our farms mainly we do need to get him to his full aoe upgrade sooner or later um before mahito spawns ideally before mahito spawns uh we'll see we'll see though we'll see right now we're just upgrading our farms try your best to like be as efficient and optimal with your farm upgrades not like me who just was just slacking off while he was yapping about monarch chosen monarch alucard um try to <laughs> try to be a little more efficient with your farms um so yeah right now see we're at we're doing perfectly fine. Uh, oh, come on. Kill him. There we go. Um, let's upgrade you. Yeah, upgrade you. You, you, you. There we go. Dogon. I'm Dogon. Wait, what is his name called? Wait, what is he called in JGK? I don't even remember. Is it, is it Dogon? I think it's Dogon. Um, he shouldn't be a problem. He might actually, he might be a little bit of a problem. So I think I'll upgrade you a little bit. Just a little. Actually, no, we should be alright. We should be alright. We'll be alright. Um, if, we, if we're not going to be alright, then I could just upgrade him when he gets over here. Um, boom. 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 Max those out. Okay. Mahito should be spawning. I think, I think he spawns on wave 7, so he should be spawning soon. Um, by the way, I don't really know, I can't really give you guys any information on like pacing, like how, like how many kills you should have by a certain amount of time, or what wave you should be on by a certain time. I guess you guys could just keep track of where I am, I guess. I mean, I guess I am pretty good at this, so I guess I keep a decent pace. Um, but obviously don't don't rely on that, because I won't be able to help you guys with that. Um, actually, I think I will, eh, no, I think that's will but I do need to upgrade him regardless because I need to get him to his full AoE upgrade. Because when Mahito spawns and things start coming out of here, then it's going to be a problem if, he, if he's not in full AoE. So I'm going to need that soon. But Dagon should die from him. Should be okay. yeah, we're good. Um, Alright, so now comes the part where I explain why we're saving Mahito. Now. Okay. Wait, actually, not yet. Wait, I lied. I'm sorry, guys, I lied. Not yet. Now it's time to explain. Okay, so we're placing we're placing Chosa right here. We wanna we wanna make sure he 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 can hit all of these right here. This part is a decent part to make sure he can hit because this takes a little bit uh, takes a while for the enemies to walk through. So like, ideal placement is like is like here. Yeah, basically like here. Yeah. Okay. So we want we want to get kills off of the things that come out here. And the things that come out here. Um, Alucard might kill some of the things that come out here. If he can clip them a little bit. Um, but not all of them. So that's why we have a Monarch Choso right here. He can deal decent damage. And he can kill a good portion of these guys. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to level him up. Um, at, by this point, when you're placing your Choso, you would want to make sure that all your speed wagons are maxed out. And your... Um, thing, your uh, what, what is this guy called? Ta Takaroda, whatever. Um, make sure he's at level five. If 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 like any of these aren't like what they are for me, um, like if your if one of your speed wagons is a max, or if your Takarada is like level four or something, you didn't farm properly. Yeah, you didn't farm properly. Um, okay, now where is Mahito? Perfect. You could get a little unlucky, and Mahito could spawn right here, and your Choso could just kill it, and that's just unfortunate, honestly. <laughs> You can't really avoid that. Um, but besides that, I don't think there's any bad Mahito spawn. This is kind of a bad spawn because you'll see in a second why. This is like not the best spawn, but it's not horrible. The, if you get a, if you get Mahito spawn right here, if your Mahito spawns right here, just, just reset the run. Like, it's not worth it. Um, okay, now here's why this Mahito spawn isn't really the best. Um, it's because when I place Julius, I don't want Julius to... Um, hit Mahito. And Julius uh, has a passive where he, he can get up to 35% range. So it's
it's kind of hard to gauge like how much range he's gonna have. And I don't want him to accidentally kill my toe. So it's gonna be a little bit hard, but I think we should be fine. Um, okay. Yeah. I'll start these toji. Uh, these tojis now. Um, I think. I think. What I want to do with this Julius is I want to leave him here. I want to let him get to his 35% range buff, and then I'll start upgrading him so I know that he he won't accidentally like buff himself and start hitting my toe. So I'm gonna just let Choso and Julius deal with these for now. Um, and we are going to start. We're I think we're gonna sell or we're gonna kill Maito on wave 21. I think 21 is probably the best. It's 20 or 21. Obviously, like I, 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 just prefacing this, I haven't really tested this strategy very much, um, so I can't promise you guys that it's like the best thing ever. But it's definitely not bad. I guess, I guess you could say that. Oh, I just messed up. Okay, you want to save up enough money so that you can go straight from the full AOE like mist form upgrade from Alucard straight to his other full AOE upgrade. You don't want to have this. This is bad. Um, this is a little unfortunate. This might result in us losing some kills, but I think it's fine. It's whatever. You guys will get. You guys can get the idea. You guys get the idea. Um, but I'm not supposed to be on this upgrade. I'm supposed to be on this upgrade. Here. But it's fine. I think. Yeah, Alucard still got it. He's fine. He's fine. He's chilling. Cool. And then we can do this. Get him that little 10% SPA buff. Um, how are these guys doing? They are fine. Yeah, they're doing, they're doing fine. Okay. Now, the thing I like to do with Julius is I, I like to max out Alucard first. And I just want to, I just like to, oh, no, no, no. Actually, no. I don't upgrade Julius yet. What I do is I place a Gojo. Yeah, that's what I do. Yeah. Gojo. Yeah. Gojo. Yeah. Okay. We place a Gojo. Um, and we max out. We max out one Gojo. Just for his, um, his void. It's pretty useful. So we just max out one Gojo. Um, and then we focus on Julius's. And keep track. Make sure you're always keeping track of the wave. Because by wave 20 to 21, you're gonna start uh, uh, selling your Choso and your Julius in the back. Okay. Also, I kind of upgraded my Taco. What's this guy's name? Takaroda. Okay, I upgraded my Takaroda a little late. Um, I think I maxed him out a little too, a little too late. I think I could have maxed him out like a wave earlier. Obviously, there's a lot of room for improvement. Boom, you have unlimited void now. It's pretty useful. Um, so just, I, I, just, I just like to keep all the abilities on auto. Obviously, I am I am not, like, like, you guys can probably tell, I'm not really sweating this that much. Like, I'm putting all my abilities on auto, and, like, I'm messing up the farms and everything. Like, I'm, I'm not really taking that seriously. But if you guys want to take it seriously, maybe you could push to, like, two people. Okay, maybe, maybe, maybe. maybe. Um, but I think the main takeaway you guys should take from this is that you you definitely need like a Monarch Alucard. I'm not gonna lie, if you wanna get high or like you wanna get like a top top score on this on this challenge, you need at minimum Monarch Alucard, which is a little unfortunate because Alucard is like the rarest unit in the game. Not that many people are gonna have a Monarch Alucard, but that's just the reality. Like you're not gonna you're not gonna get a top score without Monarch Alucard. I'm sorry. Um, now Monarch Choso is replaceable i think monarch tengen is a good option instead of monarch choso um monarch akaza could be decent not not horrible it could be decent um monarch gojo obviously um and then in replacement of gojo there's no, like obviously you can get like i think monarch jogo could be eh like he, he wouldn't be terrible but the main units you would want for this is monarch alucard monarch choso Monarch Gojo, Monarch Tengen, Monarch Akaza, um, and Blitz Julius or Ethereal Julius. Um, if you have any of those, or like a couple of those, you should be you should be able to get a top score. Um, um, you need at minimum Monarch Alucard. I'm sorry, Monarch Al <laughs> Monarch Alucard is like required. I'm sorry. Uh, maybe maybe someone some content creator could like correct me on that and maybe he, they can get a good score without monarch alucard but i just don't see how you're going to get a good score without monarch alucard considering that like like half of these enemies have regen and it's like a lot of regen too like, let me see if i could it's fucking effects on my face oh damn um okay actually it's just one regen but like they regen like 5,000 hp per tick or like 
a lot. They regen a lot. It's like a lot. So like, okay, here we're at wave 20. Um, right now we're not really struggling much. So honestly, like if you're in a situation like this where like you're really not struggling much and like, enemies still aren't getting very far, you could probably still push to like wave 21. You could probably get away with selling your your Choso at wave 21 because like these guys aren't getting any getting very far either. And, uh, yeah, we're, we're chill. We're chill. Um, now here, this is probably where we want to sell our stuff. This Doe, this Doggone or whatever, is gonna be an issue. We need to make sure. Oh wait, gotta play Julius here. Hurry up, hurry up! I don't want Dogon to kill us. I don't want Dogon to kill us. You guys see what I mean? Like it's around wave 20 to 21 that you're gonna. Okay, boom. Uh, hurry up, these guys dead. They're about to be dead. Okay. Um, I'm gonna get rid of so much. So. And oh wait. Uh, like. Um, we could place. No, we could upgrade this guy. Sell him. And Choso placement, it's like here, but like a little bit to the left. So like um, now, unfortunately, we weren't able to get the full AOE, uh, AOE upgrade, but I think it's fine. I'll look hard I think, I think, I think it's gonna die. I think we'll be fine. I think we're chilling. I think we're I think we're chilling. Um, uh, maybe we're chilling? I'm um, starting to have some doubts. No, 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 we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. We're good. One million HP is light. HP is light. Toji's honestly aren't like a big one. Like, I'm not sure if the bosses are randomized. They might be. Um, but if you, if they are randomized, like ideally the best run would just be where you just get Toji over and over. Um, because Toji's very easy to do. It's not a problem at all. Like you saw how Dagon got like all the way over here. Toji is gonna die. Like, he's gonna die like, maybe even earlier actually. So yeah, Toji's a very easy. And Toji got that far, and we were mostly focused on Dagon. Like, like, like most of our units were focused on Dagon. So, Toji. Um, another thing I want to say is that Dagon does not have, like, you know how, like, water is buffed in this, uh, tur tournament? Dagon is resistant to water, so your, your water units are not going to be doing damage to Dagon. Whereas, against Toji, your water units will be doing damage to Dagon. Um, but against Dagon, your water units aren't going to be doing much. Which is, kind of, kind of shows how strong Dagon is, because, one, Dagon already has a lot more HP than Toji. Two, Dagon doesn't have the same weaknesses as Toji. Um, so yeah. The only issue is that Toji can stun your units, but honestly it's not that long of a stun, it's really not that big of a problem. Dagon is much easier than Toji. Um, but yeah, we're like reaching the, the final stretch here. I mean, how many kills do we have? I can't really read that. I'm blind. 1.5k, 5 minutes. That's not horrible. Not the best pace, I think. I think like you'd want like at least 1.6k kills by now. Um, a little over 1.6k, but it's not the worst piece. I think I think we can catch up. We want to get to the other side. Um, yeah. I think we're working on it. Also, let me. Uh, I don't know why my UI is so tiny. What the fuck? Why did I make it so tiny? Whoa, whoa, why is it so big? Oh my god. Okay. Um. Yeah. Uh. Okay. You. Up. And then once all your once all your Juliuses are maxed out, I guess I'm still like the only, the only other thing you can place is so, I guess. Go goes. Yay! Uh, but if you had a monarch, go go. So like maybe you could get away with using one farm and like replacing it, replacing your other farm with like a killer or something. But I wouldn't recommend that. I think you still probably use two farms. We're at 1.7k. Okay, okay, I'm not gonna lie, this UI is too big. Okay. Damn, all these effects, bro. God damn. Bring my eyes. Also, I'm sorry if. Um, I, I know I make an excuse for my voice every single video, 
but I'm sorry, like it just so happens, like it's it's just a coincidence. I promise it's just a coincidence. Like every time I um, what you call it, uh, make it re like record a video, I'm like sick or something, or like my voice hurts from like a concert or like anything. Um, this time I'm sick. I, like I'm actually sick. Like <laughs> I promise I'm not making some excuse for my voice. I'm like actually sick. Um, yeah, and it's a little unfortunate because Halloween's tomorrow. I'm gonna be going out. Um, I'm dressing up as Kyle from South Park. He's not the, he's not the best character to dress up as, but like, um, he wouldn't have been my first choice, but like, he's easy to make. And like, I had I bought his costume yesterday, so like, I only had two days worth of time to get the costume ready. So like, he was the only one that like had an easy costume that was gonna ship quickly. So I just had no choice. I gotta be Kyle. So I got like a green, a green Shanka. Is that what you want to call it? I don't know how to pronounce it, but Kushanka, I guess. I got a green Kushanka, I got some green gloves, I got an orange. I don't, I couldn't get an orange trench coat. I'm not gonna fucking drop a hundred dollars on some orange trench coat for Halloween. <laughs> so I just got an orange t-shirt, um, and I got some jeans. I don't, I don't know. Sure. Yeah, so we're at the final stretch. Two minutes left, left. 1.9K. Ideally, you would want a little bit over 2K by now. Obviously, this isn't going to be the most amazing run, but it's just for a showcase. It's just to, it's just to show you. Um, two go just maxed out. Get up there. Uh, we'll probably get all these go just maxed out, honestly, which is a little crazy. Like, uh, yeah. I mean, I guess it's four units, so it's not that we have to be it's cool though. It's cool. Toby's gonna die soon. Um, boom, he's dead. Uh, yeah, this is it, this isn't gonna be the best score. Honestly, this probably might not be. Probably gonna be like two thousand. But this, I promise you guys, okay, this is the strategy I use to get two thousand three hundred twelve kills. Okay. Um, this is the strategy I use. I promise. Like, I didn't do anything different. I. It's just like it's a it's a pretty tight target. Right, so obviously I'm not, it's going to be pretty hard to replicate the exact conditions that I get for, for that two point. Okay. Um, but, if you guys are wondering what the strategy was, this is a strategy. Obviously, like, my units aren't the best. I, I mean, I guess, like, these two are making up for it, but, like, my Gojo could be a, could be a Monarch. I could have Monarch tanking and stuff, so, like, if you have that, good on you. You're going to get 2.5k. Um, okay, 50 seconds left, we're not free. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, y'all, you guys can't see the big 2.3k. I'm sorry. Oh, this is how you guys could have broken 2.3k. I'm an idiot. Uh, set your, uh, thing. Julius is to weakest. This is, this is very useful. If you set them to weakest, they can get a lot more kills. I don't know why I didn't do that in the beginning. Honestly, like... You guys, you guys should do that. It's, it's a very good strategy. Um, it'll get you. It'll get you. Um, okay. Oh, ooh, actually, wait. We might break 2.3k. Come on. Come on. Come on. It's so close. Um, seven seconds. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Ah, oh, unfortunate. 2.28k. If I if my Juliuses were attacking weakest from the beginning, um, they could have easily hit. I could have easily hit 2.3 count that run. Honestly, that could have been my high score. Honestly, I'm 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 kind of mad that I didn't put them on weakest now because that could have been my high score. Um, but regardless, I'm not beating this guy. This guy's a fucking dork, bro. This isn't fair. Why am I putting getting put in brackets with these people? Like I'm seeing people who have brackets where like it's like 1.7k is the highest. Why is my bracket so good? Like, this is not fair. Like everybody in like the top 20, top 21, all have over two two thousand. Like this is not fair. This is not fair. But it's whatever. It's whatever. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. That's how I got 2.3k. Um, I'll make an update video if I can get a higher score and what I changed or whatever and I'll probably make a trait uh, a video on the traitless one maybe if you guys want to want to see it um, I might make a video on the traitless one but yeah that's pretty much it thank you guys for watching I'm gonna see you guys in the next video peace